How many people are actually interested seriously in retraining? Airmen and NCOs at Kunsan Air Base are receiving a briefing and retraining opportunities. But these airmen are getting more than just a PowerPoint briefing. They're getting one-on-one -on -one attention with the base career advisor. Along with the briefing, attendees took the opportunity to talk to over 20 different Air Force specialties, something Staff Sergeant Erica Ronsky wasn't originally able to do. When I came in, I went in open general and I didn't realize that I would be locked into a job as opposed to actually choosing the job I wanted. That's what I said. Here, Sergeant Ronsky can find out about special duties, but more importantly... Well, here you can interview people. You can actually see how they feel about it as opposed to just reading like a little description online. You can see from their reactions if they like their job or not. You can ask them like what to expect and like what the retraining process is going to be like, what their tech school is going to be like. With the Air Force moving everything online, this fair puts a face to the job. Although retraining is an online process now, it's pretty much done virtually, that doesn't give you the opportunity when you see that they need uh, people in a 4RO four, four career field. What is 4RO? What does that mean? This gives you the opportunity to actually sit down with somebody who works in radiology. This job fair is helping airmen and NCOs looking to retrain beat the September 30th deadline. Our ultimate goal today was to try to educate people on the different AFSCs, um, try to add a little bit more of a personal touch to the online retraining process. It's this personal touch that should help Air Force members find their future career. I'm Air Force Sergeant Michael Shocker, Kuntan Air Base, Korea.